what guys welcome to the channel so in this video i'm diving to my car wash business it was an old car wash when i bought it and i wanted to renovate it so it can start operating right away and bring some nice cash flow i am going to explain why i put the owner to buy it from him um, out of all the car washes on that stretch and also show you guys all the work that was done on the car wash so you see the old video of uh, how the property was before I bought it and how it looks now and uh, in my previous video I showed uh, a concept for minimum and that's on the same property but I decided to start with a car wash first before I start construction for the minimum car wash is pretty good business in Ghana that you definitely want to consider though it's capital intensive because you need a good location and good locations in Ghana is extremely expensive if you want land by the main roadside it's not a joke but it is very profitable especially if you are in a developing area as I am now as most of the roads are dirt roads so people are usually getting a car wash two three times a week and that adds up pretty quickly so after observing that i decided to you know dive into the car wash business so there is a few reasons why i decided to buy an old car wash instead of starting from scratch and one of the reasons is land issues land issues in Canada is just too crazy so i just wanted an existing car wash it's easier less headache and so long as that person has a title to that land I can just take the business from that person and make it better. Uh, another reason why I went for the old car wash instead of starting from scratch is the existing customers. So that person already has some customers and books that likes him. Though the car wash was not in a good shape, so that means once it becomes better, they will definitely be coming uh, plus new customers. And I think the third reason is I've never had a car wash business before. So if I do buy from this, this owner, you know, I'm going to learn something from him. I'm going to have the equipment on hand and he can teach me a few stuff as part of the deal that I struck with him. So that's exactly what I did. Now, I went on a quest to identify a potential car wash that I want to buy. And uh, along the stretch, this particular car wash that I bought was the least performing one, right? Uh, just by driving on the stretch, I could see that that car, car wash business was struggling because of the condition it was in and also the amount of cars that I see compared to to others. And uh, that's when I decided to make the move and approach the owner and, you know, make, make, a, make a proposal to him as far as uh, how much I want to buy it for and we had some negotiation going on and he had to sell. And indeed, he was working for a buyer already. So that was a great observation on my part. Uh, we went through that and, you know, I brought my lawyer on board and then we did a whole, you know, lawyer stuff and then uh, acquired this property. I finished renovating the place already and uh, I do have some land issues that I'm smoothing out right now. Uh, not really land issues, but somebody tried to stop money from me. And I wasn't willing to pay up, so he decided to waste my time and take me to court. And because of that, though I finished uh, renovating the place, I have not started operating the business yet, unfortunately. Um, so I'm dealing with that. Um, Ghana is really crazy when it comes to land issues. So <laughs> I bought this land from an existing business, the people are living on it. Business has been in existence for the past 11 years. I bought it with a title, transferred the title to my name, and somebody still showed up and tried to cause issues, tried to, you know, get money from me, and uh, I wasn't budging, you know, so he, you know, he did a whole bunch of stuff to waste my time. That's one of the video for that. <laughs> uh, so I'm in court right now, but I finished renovating the place, and I'm waiting for the judge to, you know, kind of throw away this case and... And, and then get back to working. But car wash business is, is, is a great business. Nice return on capital. Um, I got the land and everything, but within five years, 
I should have my money back. I have a long-term vision for this property, which is a mini mall, but I decided to get a car wash for it. And I'm gonna be sharing a few pictures and videos uh, regarding the process of renovating the car wash in the state that is it now. So you're gonna see before video and after video. So stay tuned. Yeah, so this was the state that the car wash was in before I approached the owner and acquired a property from him. And uh, the place was not in a good condition at all. But we cleaned it up. We were gonna clean it up. So with the renovation, we ended up plastering the walls, uh, blocked the back to make it look more presentable for construction. Uh, we screeded the floor. The concrete was too old and not presentable. And then we ended up covering the whole dirt floor with, uh, with, with gravels and just clean up the mess. So this is the finished product as far as phase one goes for the car wash and it's ready for operation. I will be sharing uh, my journey with you guys and if you've not subscribed to the channel already, do so and until next time my friends. Good night, Mary.